I'm finna show y'all something that I ain't showed the world yet. Life without you been feeling kind of strange. Well, I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blowed up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha Jabri, and today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me with you guys. It is literally, let's see, it's 1.25. I actually am not on a schedule today, so hopefully I don't have to rush, you know what I'm saying? I could just do what I need to do. But I do plan on traveling today, so that's what I'm getting ready for. I gotta get myself together, but thank God I got these freaking braids because I don't gotta do nothing to my hair. Y'all know how long it's been since I've been able to just get up and go? It's been a long time, but even still, I still gotta do my edges. So I think I'm gonna do my edges first. And speaking of my edges, I gotta tell y'all a secret. I gotta tell y'all a secret, but I'm gonna cut on my little mini flat irons and then we're gonna get into it. All right, y'all ready for the secret? These are lace edges. Like, literally, I cut them off of a wig. But you know what? We work smart, okay? Because let me tell y'all, but I have forgot that when you get braids, you either have to take your edges out prior to, or you have to let them know, you know, that you want a lot of hair out in the front. I didn't do neither one. I was like, can you leave some edges out? And she was like, oh, I didn't leave no edges out on the other side. And I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I wasn't mad at her or nothing, but I was just like, kind of like freaking out in my head like, I'm just about to have no edges, but of course I figured out a way because there's just no possible way in the world I could be walking around with no edges. Like, please, I'm gonna find a way. I cut these straight off of a wig and I'm gonna tell y'all a secret, I'm gonna tell y'all a little tip if y'all trying to do the same thing because I was trying to figure out a way to do it to where they wouldn't look so fake, you know what I mean? Because I don't want people to be clocking me, looking at my braids like, oh, those are her edges. And then someone trying to come off. But anyways, I didn't want nobody to be clocking me. You know what I'm saying? Looking at my braids like, girl, please. Like, sure enough, if you look close, then you'll be able to tell. But like from afar, you should not be able to tell these are my edges. So hopefully when I post pictures and stuff, I mean, you guys know now. But to the regular eye, I need to be undercover. You know what I mean? But I'm going to tell y'all what I did. So y'all know the new... Um, I've reviewed a few the kinky edges basically you get like a regular style wig and then they just put like 4c edges on the wig so what I did was I cut these edges off of one of those wigs so these are 4c edges which means that even when I'm out and about and they start frizzing up or they're not like all put together anymore they still look like they're mine and I just thought that was so genius when I thought of it I'm like girl not you that came up with some shit. like i know for sure that lace edges is a thing hold on make sure please yeah because i want these to be flipped upward i know lace edges is already a thing like they already sell lace edges in a pack but i don't think i saw 4c edges in a pack i don't think i saw that yet so this is a way to protect your edges too because if you don't want to be putting heat on them every day with your braids you just i can't really talk while i do my edges so i'm just gonna lay them down and then we're gonna come back where have I been? Um, so as you guys know, my birthday just passed. It is now July 22nd. My birthday was July 13th. And I just turned 21. <laughs> 21. Can you, Can you do something for me? 21. Can you hit a little? <laughs> Happy birthday to me. It is still my birthday in my head, period. It's still my birthday. And as you guys can see, I did not do a birthday special. I did not do a birthday vlog. I didn't do any of that. And I'm gonna tell y'all what, why. Like, leading up to my birthday, I ain't gonna lie y'all, I was a little bit sad. Like, I was really down in my feelings, which I'm hearing is a very normal thing um, for people to be sad around their birthday. But I've never been sad around my birthday. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I was literally crying. I was literally crying and just so sad. Like, I'm just like, girl, what is wrong with you? I'm like, girl, what the hell? What the? <laughs> Every year for my birthday, I have either had something done for me extravagantly or I have planned something for myself that was, you know, extravagant. But this year for my birthday, for some reason, I just couldn't get it together. Like, I wanted to go to Jamaica, but I'm the type of person, if something is not working out, I kind of take it as a sign. You know, I don't really like try to force it or, you know, just 
push through i kind of just be like okay maybe it's just not meant you know what i mean and that was one of the things that i wanted to do for my birthday and it just it wasn't working out like it just literally wasn't working out i was just like you know what but you know when the time comes i'll be in jamaica but clearly the time ain't right now so that was one of the things that i was kind of like sad about it but not really sad because i know i'm gonna go to jamaica one day but i was just kind of like dang what am i gonna do for my birthday i don't have no plans i don't have nothing i have nothing and another thing that i really wanted to do for my birthday was have a birthday photo shoot the only day that i could figure out before my birthday that i could shoot and i would have help and you know i, I wouldn't be super stressed was on a sunday now the person that i want to shoot with that is his most expensive day so this is just another sign like it's, it's clearly just not working because why would the only day that i'll be available to do it the right way that i want to do it be a sunday his most expensive day and i'm just like it doesn't make sense to spend up because i've spent to, I spent like almost two thousand dollars on a photo shoot, unsponsored, just because I want to take pictures. Like that's my thing. I like to do it. I don't mind doing it, but I'll do it when it makes sense. And for my birthday, I just couldn't make it make sense. I'm just like, why would you spend two thousand dollars just on a photo shoot? You don't have no birthday plans, so what? On your birthday, you just gonna wake up and post pictures? Like that ain't. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather spend that money on enjoying my birthday. So I was like, cool no birthday photo shoot no birthday photo shoot no jamaica what's next i was like okay i want to drive down to the beach i would love to go to the beach i haven't been to the beach in forever so let's go to the beach i'm gonna start on my makeup so i'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna get into this face this is not gonna be a tutorial because i really do really 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 want to film a um updated makeup routine with you guys and i want it to be very very detailed so this is not going to be that because i'm talking to you guys today so yeah let me just zoom in see so i can get it to the face and then we're gonna start talking about what happened with the beach okay so i wanted to go to the beach i was like you know what i can't do none of this the least i can do is go to the beach right <laughs> clearly not of course drive to no beach okay me personally i ain't finna do it so if i was gonna do it zay was gonna do it he was gonna be the one driving me to the beach but this man ended up getting a freaking ticket a ticket like some months ago for well he was driving my car it's kind of my fault but he was the driver so he got the ticket um it was for tenant windows and Something about my expired registration. Something like that. Something something happened along those lines. He literally had to go to court the weekend of my birth. Not the weekend, but I think the Thursday of the Friday of my birthday. And my birthday fell on a Thursday. So that Thursday and the next Friday, he had to go to freaking court. So I'm like, you have to wake up and go to court on Friday. Then we have to jump in the car, drive all the way down to the beach. That's the whole Friday gone. Then we'll just have uh saturday and then sunday would be coming back and i'm just like that's just not the vibe like i want to be somewhere and i just want to be there you know for at least two days you know what i'm saying nothing was falling through nothing made sense to actually do and i was just like you know what when my birthday comes i'll just figure something out so i didn't post anything for my birthday because i didn't have nothing planned for my birthday that's literally it like I know you guys are probably looking for something but the truth is i just didn't have nothing together and that's just that so like i said i was super sad about it like freaking crying every day leading up to my birthday because i'm just like girl you freaking suck like you suck i was blaming it all on myself i'm like you should have been playing this out whatever whatever i was just super sad but all in all i was just really being dramatic because i ended up really enjoying my birthday and i didn't really do much for it but I enjoyed it. I had some friends over. Well, I only invited two people over to bring in my birthday with me at 12. I got myself a little cake and we drunk some 1942 because it's my 21st birthday. Like, and I, that's nothing I was thinking about not drinking because I hadn't been drinking leading up to my birthday for a while. I feel like I went through my drinking phase, my fun girl, party girl phase. I started to not like the way that it made me feel. Really the next day, that used to be my thing. Everybody used to wake up normal. I'm waking up. I feel like I need to go to the damn hospital. Like, I would be so messed up. And everybody ready to do it all over again. And I'm just like, girl, I can't even move. And so, leading up to my 21st, I'm like, everybody's going to be expecting me to drink. And I'm not really on that type of time but i ended up sucking it up and just you know getting a type of alcohol that wasn't gonna get me like super you know 
messed up and I knew I was gonna be feeling all right the next day and which I did that was one of my only wishes for my birthday I did not want to feel sick and I didn't want to be sad that was like the main things and mission accomplished I wasn't neither for my birthday I went for brunch I got cute took some pictures even though Instagram messed up the quality of my pictures they were still cute um and everything ended up working out and then the next day well not the next day because they had court the next day so the next day after that we ended up um spending the weekend at my cousin's house and um just going out to eat and stuff and it was just a vibe you know and i enjoyed myself so yeah that's pretty much where i've been for like the past it's only been like a week since my birthday so that's where i've been as far as this month now before then is another conversation I, I I have no excuse. There's literally no reason why I haven't been posting. I just kind of been, I don't know, in a way, kind of like disassociated. Like I just, I be in my life, but I don't really be in my life until life be happening. And then I be like, damn, I should have been doing this and that and that. But it's weird because I be wanting to, but it's like I just don't. You know, y'all ever been there before? I don't know. Like I literally be having all the intentions all of the um great ideas of what i should be posting and you know picture ideas and you know just exciting content stuff like tiktoks short videos all of that type of stuff i have the ideas it's just like when it comes to executing i don't know it just never happens you know and i'm starting to think that i'm really gonna have to invest in a manager or somebody who could just put me on a schedule you know what i mean and like tell me when i have when i need to film or you know i feel like i would take it a little bit more i don't want to say serious but it would be more of an objective for me if i see it like date like th today you need to do this tomorrow this is you know this is what you need to do i feel like i would be a little bit more productive if it was laid out for me like that but it's literally just me so it's kind of like when i feel like it i do and when i don't i kind of don't or if i have a deadline i'll do the deadline of course because i don't have a choice but when it comes to like my personal content it's like it's just no i don't i don't feel the push for it you know i need somebody to push me you know and I kind of feel like that's the lesson in it. I think God's trying to tell me to push myself. I think he's he wants me to be a little bit more disciplined. I'm starting to see the importance of having a team because when you don't feel like it, you kind of need a team behind you, you know? First, I need to become disciplined because there's no way I'm going to be able to have a team. And I'm... And I don't, there's no drive within myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it, y'all. I really am. And that is my goal for the end of the year. I want to end off this year strong. God willing, I want to hit 400K this year. That's one of my goals. I don't like this eyebrow. I feel like it's kind of lumpy now. I also have been kind of like in my brainstorming phase of spoil i've been trying to just figure out in what direction i want to go with things which can be very frustrating because some days i wake up and i'm like i want to do this and the next day i'll be like ah, i don't like that anymore and it's just like becoming a longer process than what i thought it was going to be but i'm not mad at it because i feel like once it finally do come together it's going to make so much sense and it's gonna be true to me you know what i mean and it's not gonna be rushed and it's not i know like i'm gonna stand behind my product a hundred and a thousand fuck my product my brand a hundred and a thousand percent so i'm okay with however long it takes to get it together i have talked to some people about brand development so that's the thing i'm like trying to educate myself on all of these different things because i just like i said i want it to be really really thought out because if people are spending their money with me i want it to be an experience you know what i mean i don't want to just have ass i just want everything to be everything i just want it to be giving to the highest extent that it can get but yeah that's where your girl been brain been a little bit everywhere child i just been going with the motions honestly like it be so hard to try to focus on 10 things at one time and trying to master them all but I'm like, this is the life God wanted for me. So I need to be a good steward over my life. Like I need to really 
take care of the things that he has gave me you know what i mean that's my main thing like i feel like i've kind of been reckless with it all and i'm kind of trying to bring it back you know I'm trying to bring it back i feel like i'm getting a little grown now you can't just be out here doing anything and that's just kind of like the phase that i'm in i'm just trying to figure it all out and make it make sense for me there is something else i've been thinking about let me get my contour and everything else that i need to do for my face and then we're gonna talk about what your girl think about <laughs> And let me know what y'all think, okay? Because I value you guys' opinions. Naturally, people always ask, you know, can you do my makeup? Can you help me with my makeup? Like, I really love the way your makeup looks, you know? And can you just help me? I've even done people's makeup. I've done my friend's makeup. I have, you know, just been kind of like in my little makeup bag, you know? Hold on, get in the call. <laughs> oh yeah them bitches be getting on my nerves okay i'm filming this video i'm gonna call you back as soon as i get done all right i'll call you later all right if they trust me with their face then clearly you know what i mean this needs to be a thing you know because i could be this could be a whole nother income for me or just another avenue you know what i mean how many times have i said you know what i mean i'm, I'm sure i've said it a million times i just been thinking on it and i'm like do i want to start practicing on doing makeup like do i want to do that even though i would be starting out and i would be a rookie and doing other people's makeup i am not a rookie at all in makeup i understand makeup i understand colors i understand faces i understand what people are looking for and i kind of feel like and i'm not gonna lie to y'all this tea i've never liked when i got my makeup done like i've never fully been like looked in the mirror after and like wow like you look so good it's always like could deal with it you know what i mean and there's never been a time where i got my makeup done and i didn't tweak it myself which you know nothing to the makeup artist that i have ever went to but i kind of just feel like there's a gap in the industry like i feel like not everybody wants to be caked down and like full-on birthday makeup every time they go get their makeup and i feel like i could really really dominate the soft glam look like i just kind of feel like that would be my little that would be my little lane and i kind of would do good in it you know so yeah that's what i've been thinking about but i nothing is set in stone like it's just literally a thought right now it's literally just a thought i feel like that would just be really cool to just start beating people's faces you know like i said i'm in my brainstorming era i feel like my creativity is like at its highest right now so i'm kind of just trying to like figure it all out at one time like i have all of these ideas i'm like which way do you want to go like i said i wake up every day and i'm just like do you want to be a doctor do you want to like it's literally crazy it's so crazy when you're like in your creative little bubble because you kind of feel like you can do everything and in a way i be kind of tricking myself i'm like yes you can you can you can do makeup you can do youtube you can have a company you can do this you can do that you can do that but i don't know like i said it's literally just a thought for right now but i'm about to blend out my concealer because i'm taking forever long and i don't want to have y'all just on here and i'm talking y'all head off so i'm gonna blend out my concealer and i'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit more <laughs> time to clean my brushes like you know it's time to clean your brushes when your makeup is like looking a little bit streaky you know what i mean like it's too much product i feel like i could squeeze product out of this little brush right here like i just had to wipe off my whole nose and do it all over again because of this brush i need to brush my brushes i'm gonna set my face and then i don't know but i'm gonna set it. <laughs> but if you feel oh like i feel
this song brings me into my next point. I'm gonna show y'all something that I ain't showed the world yet. Okay, I gotta run out to the car because I left my blush in the car. Yes, I take my blush with me everywhere I go. And I'm gonna be right back because now it's time to really bring the face together. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. But first, let me go get my blush. Oh, I'm out of breath. And it's hot out there. Oh my God. Got my handy daddy blush shirts. I'm about to go in, okay? Just letting y'all know now, I don't play around when it comes to my blush. Focus the hot pink higher up on your temple. You can bring it down, but when you bring it down, bring it down into your contour. Don't bring it up here. Cause that's what's gonna make you look like a clown. I wonder am I gonna look back at these videos and be like, girl, why you was putting on all that blush? But I doubt it. I highly, I highly doubt it. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear today, y'all. I kinda wanna be comfortable cause we got a little ride to go to my cousin's house. So um, I did buy some stuff yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. I think I wanna um, wear something that I bought yesterday. I bought this cute little like, it's almost like a workout jumpsuit, but I think I'm gonna wear it as outfit because, you know, lounge wear is in. I don't feel like anybody would be looking at me sideways if I come in with a freaking spandex jumpsuit on in this day and age. I don't think nobody cares. So I think I'm gonna wear that, but I kind of feel like if I wear that, I kind of gotta wear sneakers. And that's where I lack. I don't have a lot of sneakers, y'all. I used to be a sneakerhead, but now I'm just not. Like, once I realize all of the stuff you gotta go through to get the shoes, like, I'm just like, it's okay. Don't even worry about it because I'm not doing all that. I promise you, I'm not doing all that. So, that's the only thing. If I was to wear the jumpsuit, I don't feel like sandals or slides will really go with that. I kind of feel like I would have to do sneakers and I don't know. So that's like my little discrepancy with my outfit right now. I have something to wear. I just don't know what else I would wear with it. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys. It's gonna be a full get ready with me. And then I think I'm gonna do like a cute little hairstyle with my braids today. Kind of want to put them up for the first time. And another thing y'all, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. My freaking closet has been on the floor for like two months, literally two months. My closet fell off of the wall on the floor. Like all of my clothes are still there. I haven't moved, I haven't been able to move anything because like they're all piled on top of each other. So it's like, if I was gonna do that, I would have to have help. And then I was having Zay trying to figure out like if he could fix it, but he was just like, he can't fix it. Um, because something with the wall, something, I don't know. But it kind of make it hard for me to get dressed because I can't see all my clothes. Like they're literally piled on top of each other, like in a big pile in my closet that's been there for over two months. I've been literally just wearing the stuff that I buy because I don't be feel like sorting through and going through all of that stuff. Now, what has made it a little bit easier for me, before my closet fell, I had everything color coordinated. Um, and I've actually showed you guys like how my closet, I've organized my closet in a, I think that video was like, it might be over a year now, but I color coordinate my closet. That's the only way I've been able to kind of like find some things because there's like a pile of like pink clothes and a pile of white clothes and like they're, they're still kind of how they were on the hanger, but they're on the floor, piled on top of each other. But if I'm looking for something specific, I kind of just look within the area of the color. You get what I'm saying? So color coordinate your closet just in case it fall on the floor and you're trying to find something. Yeah, I can't even really get to my sneakers because my sneakers was up underneath my closet, which means that everything is on top of the sneakers now. So I may just have to find something else to wear. Yeah, cause I don't feel like wearing heels. I don't feel like doing that. Like shout out to the girls who can just put on heels on a random day. Cause baby, I am not one of y'all and I salute y'all. I really do salute y'all. I really do. I went on a cute little brunch for my birthday and I wore these little heels when I tell y'all. By the time I walked into the brunch, the shoes were off, okay? From the car to the door, I said, never mind. Like, I can't do it. I still got a bronze and do my like eye makeup and stuff, but I like to do my lip liner it starts to bring the face together let's add the finishing touches to my face and then we're gonna figure out my hairstyle Y'all, I bought this little white eyeliner. I'm a little tempted to play with it, but I'm a little scared because I've never done
done nothing with no white eyeliner before, but I kind of feel like it'll make stuff pop. But I just don't know where I would put it. Ooh, maybe if I do like a couple dots up underneath my wing. I like that. It kind of looks like rhinestones, honestly. Y'all can't even really see it, but I like it. That's cute. That's a cute little add on to my makeup routine. That's cute. It kind of gives, uh, what's the little show called? Euphoria? Is that Euphoria I'm thinking about? I think so. Now let's spray. This is she. This is the face. Um, oh, didn't mean to throw that. I'm gonna just add some lip gloss. What am I about to do with my hair? Like, should I put it like all up into like a bun? I kind of wanna, I wanna try something. So I'm gonna take the little front braids and I'm gonna leave those out. I think I'm gonna crisscross the front braids across each other and then I'm gonna do like a little bun. What y'all think? I might gotta stand up for this cause y'all know how to be with braids. You gotta kinda stand up. Now I got it secure at the top. I'm gonna just secure it one more time. Cool. Now that shouldn't be going nowhere. Now I'm gonna just spin a little bun. Now I'm gonna take this first section and I'm gonna like cross it over like this. And I'm gonna wrap that. Then I'm gonna take this section Y'all see what I did there in the front? That's cute. And I'ma wrap this section. Now I always been one for the braid styles. Now if y'all remember, I got a very, very viral um, video on, you know, styles to do with box braids. Because I just be feeling real creative with the braid. That is cute. That is really cute. That is really cute. I like this. Do y'all see this? And it doesn't even hurt or nothing. All right, so that's clearly the hair. Um, I'm gonna go get the little stuff that I bought yesterday. It's just the top and then a little jumpsuit. I don't have anything to wear with the top, but like I told you guys, with the jumpsuit, I kind of feel like I gotta wear sneakers, so maybe I will go with the top. I don't know. I'm just gonna show y'all what I got, and then we gonna get into the outfit. All right, so first off, I got this little top from Marshalls, I got this because it's like a corset. I can tell this is gonna fit very cute when I put it on. Um, and I don't really be having a lot of graphic type shirts to just throw on with, you know, little outfits. So this is an option, okay? I don't really know what pants I will wear, but this is an option. So we're gonna keep this to the side and then let me show y'all the little jumpsuit. So this is the jumpsuit. This is what she looks like. It's not really much. Dang, I can't really do accents. It's not really much. It's not really much. It's not really much. I, I can't do it. But anyways, it's not much, but it's cute. I can talk and make this really cute. And this would be very, very, very comfortable for the drive. So I'm gonna throw this on. I'm gonna see how it looks. I'm gonna see how both these look when I put them on. And then we're gonna make a decision. Okay, so this is a jumpsuit, and this is what I wanted to show y'all. My new tattoo. She's so cute. She's so freaking cute. She's so cute. Love her. It says, at your best, you are love. So peek the song that I was playing for y'all earlier. But it's so cute. I just wanted some cute little words to go across my leg. I feel like it kind of serves as like a little garner. You know, it's like a little tattoo garner. And I love her. You know, she's a moment. She's a vibe. Hopefully, I don't regret her later on in life, but I doubt it. I try to get very, very simple things. Well, besides my neck. That was, I ain't gonna say it was an accident, but I ain't mean to get this. I really got a whole neck tat, y'all. 
it was supposed to be behind my ear but when I showed him the design he was like um you can't really do this type of design that small or it's all just gonna get bunched together and so he was like I can just bring it down your neck a little bit child this is a whole neck tattoo okay but anyways I only got three I got this one my neck and then I have like a little heart that's like right here, but nobody ever sees it. I didn't even think about that when I got it, that nobody's ever really gonna see it. It's too low. If I got on pants, it's covered. I don't know, it's like in a very, very weird spot right here. Like nobody ever gonna see that. Even if I have on a bathing suit, they might see it. If it's like high up like this, but if it's like a regular bathing suit, they probably won't see it. But anyways, this is the jumpsuit. Um, I think she's cute, but I'm gonna put some jewelry on and see if I like it. I'm about to grab some earrings and like some little bracelets and stuff. And I'm gonna see if I'm gonna keep this on. I don't know. Okay, so I came up with this. The main star of the show are the earrings. Like, they're really pulling it together. Um, still got on a jumpsuit. I just threw like on this little jacket, but I'm just, I don't know if I like it. What do y'all think in the comments? Let me know what y'all think in the comments because I don't know what I think. I don't know what I think. I haven't worn this jacket in literal, literal ages. And that's another thing. I think it's kind of just like throwing me off. I haven't seen it in a while, but it's cute. It's cute. Still don't know what bag, still don't know what shoes. So I think I'm about to figure that out. And in a minute, it's gonna be time to go. So I need to hurry up. Okay, so this is the second option. A little camo mini skirt um, and this little top. <sighs> Once again, I just kind of feel like it's missing something, you know? I don't know, I wish I had like a plaid shirt or something. I actually do. Let me go get my plaid shirt and see if I can play with it and I don't know, do something to make it look cool. Okay, so I kind of just took this little top and tied it up right here to make it like not so long and i'm actually kind of feeling it i like all of the different prints and stuff together maybe i'll like no i kind of like it long let's keep this long i don't know what kind of shoes should i wear now i kind of want to wear like some little boots or something let me figure out shoes and then i'll figure out bag maybe even put on like some little glasses okay so yeah i'm thinking this little coke bag because it kind of goes with like the little graphic type of vibe and then these what y'all think i think it's really cute it makes sense but it doesn't make sense i feel like that's what really makes it so cute and the girls that's that's gonna get it is gonna get it you know what i mean i like it i like it with the shoes i think it's cute let's put the other one on this is the fit that is the fit this is the face and the hair. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I feel very, very cute. I'm so glad we was able to get ready together. Um, let me take off these guys because they're glaring. Um, I'm about to head out. So this is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget y'all to thumbs this video up and please comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next because I'm trying to get back in my bag. So let me know what y'all want to see. I know we live in a new time. So, you know, let's try some new shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. I got to go, y'all. I love y'all so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.